Well, good morning. Happy uh, June 8th, 2020. 1307 Elizabeth Street. Uh, one way street moving this way. That's South Street. It's going against traffic here. And that's United Street. Neighbor's house. Neighbor's house. And across the street view. <clears throat> I parked my car there just to show um, how big of uh, a car you can park in this driveway. Um, here is the front gate. So that's the front door, front porch, but that leads to the bedroom. So I kind of think the best way to go in to this house is through this way. Ooh, look at those floors. Look at that kitchen, it smells nice in here. I wish I had a smelling option for you. It smells nice and clean. Brand new appliances. Kitchen looks beautifully done. I'll give you the view from this side. Stainless steel, dishwasher, oven. Ooh. Ooh la la. Freezer, working perfectly. That's my soda water, just so you know. Uh, cabinets, slam proof, cannot slam these cabinets. Oh, well, I guess you can slam that one. Hmm, interesting. Um, this, also I kind of noticed there's a few little minor details that need to be addressed, but you know, we can figure that out later. The granite guy is coming by later today. There's a little gap right here and Tom wants him to come back and reset that. I'm supposed to be setting that up with him. So now we'll walk living room. High ceilings, new ceiling fan, beautifully painted job, really nice. They did a great job with these floors. This is the original hardwood floors. This house, according to legend, it was um, uh, brought over here from the Bahamas in the turn of the 19th century. Back in those days, you didn't have any wood so on the island. So if you wanted to move here, you literally had to bring the house with you. So what they would do is they would bring it in on a boat. There's me. Hey. You'd have to bring it in on a boat. And then you would take palm trees and cut them. And now here's the bedroom. Closets. Windows. So you would cut palm trees and then you would take them and you'd lay them flat and then you'd take the house off of the boat and you would roll the house to the foundation. And apparently that's what they did with this particular property. So now we'll walk through the entire house and go out to the backyard side area. Washer and dryer are here, which I do believe that we might have to have some concessions in store for a brand new house with this washer and dryer. It's pretty, you know, these, this is old washer and dryer, but it's functional, it works, right? Um, backyard here it's pretty big I'll stand over here too so then that goes back out to the front door there so here's the whole backyard side yard which I really love this side yard and then this leads out back up to the front yard so it's completely fenced in so if you do have pu puppies or whatever, you can have them all fenced in. And this leads back out to the front yard. And that kind of ends our tour. Cheers.